Today's story is Mr. Putter and Tabby Feed the Fish. It's written by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Arthur Howard. Today's story has chapters. Chapters are just numbered stories. You'll see as I read along. Chapter 1, or Story 1, The Fish Store. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved going to the fish store. Mr. Putter loved it because he had owned goldfish as a boy. He had always liked goldfish. Tabby loved it because it made her whiskers tingle and her tail twitch. Tabby was old, but she still loved excitement, and fish were exciting. One day, Mr. Putter and Tabby were watching fish in the fish store when Mr. Putter said, let's bring some home. It had been many years since Mr. Putter had owned fish. He thought it would be fun to have some again. It would make him feel like a boy, and it would be good exercise for Tabby's tail. We'll take three and a nice big bowl, Mr. Putter said to the fish man. Mr. Putter and Tabby drove their fish home. Tabby nearly twitched herself right out of the car. She wasn't sure she could handle this much excitement. Chapter 2 or Story 2 Bat. Back at home, Mr. Putter got the fish bowl ready. He dropped the three fish in. Plop, plop, plop. Then he gave them some food. The fish seemed very happy. They swam and swam and ate and ate. Mr. Putter watched and Tabby batted. Bat, bat, bat. Don't bat the fish, Tabby, said Mr. Putter. But Tabby couldn't help it. She got all twitchy. Bat went her paw on the glass. No batting, said Mr. Putter. Bat, 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 bat. Finally, Mr. Putter said, Come on, Tabby, let's go to bed. We'll watch the fish tomorrow. Tabby wanted to go to bed. She needed to go to bed. She was tired from all that batting, but she couldn't move. Bedtime, Tabby, said Mr. Putter. Bat, bat, bat. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. Mr. Putter looked at the fish. Hmm, he said. He went to get a pillowcase. He put it over the fishbowl. Now, can we go to bed? He asked Tabby. Tabby purred and followed him to bed. Chapter 3 or story three, bat, bat, bat. The next morning, when Mr. Putter woke up, Tabby wasn't there. Tabby, he called. He listened. He thought he could hear something. It sounded very faint. It sounded very far away, but he thought he could hear it. It went bat, bat, bat. Oh dear, said Mr. Putter. He rose from bed and put on his slippers. He went downstairs to the fishbowl. The pillowcase was still over it, but the pillowcase had grown a tail. Mr. Putter lifted off the pillowcase. There was Tabby. Her eyes were wide, her fur was pointy, her tail was terribly twitchy. Tabby, dear, said Mr. Putter, I think you have a fish problem. Mr. Putter got a bucket. He put it over the fishbowl. Can we have breakfast now? He asked Tabby. Tabby purred and followed him to breakfast. They watched the birds instead of fish while they ate. Tabby didn't have a bird problem. Mr. Putter was glad. He wasn't sure he could get all those birds under one bucket. Chapter 4 or story for so relaxed the bucket stayed over the fishbowl for a week 
Mr. Putter tried taking it off a few times, but Tabby got all twitchy and batty, and he had to put it back on. Finally, Mr. Putter got tired of looking at an upside-down bucket. Tabby, he said one morning, let's see if Mrs. Teaberry would like some fish. Mrs. Teaberry was Mr. Putter's neighbor. She usually liked everything. Certainly, said Mrs. Teaberry when Mr. Putter phoned. Zeke and I would love some fish. Zeke was Mrs. Teaberry's good dog. Mr. Putter and Tabby carried the fish bowl over. Mr. Putter told Mrs. Teaberry about Tabby's fish problem. Mrs. Teaberry was very nice. She said that fish make a lot of cats twitchy and batty. That made Tabby feel better. Mr. Putter and Tabby had milk and cookies with Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke. Then they said goodbye to the fish and went home. Everything was great after that. It turned out that Zeke did not have a fish problem. Fish did not make him twitchy. Fish did not make him batty. Fish just made him very, very sleepy. Whenever Zeke needed to relax, he watched his fish. Zeke was so relaxed. Mr. Putter and Tabby were relaxed too. Of course, they had always been very good at relaxing, except with fish. They just curled themselves into Mr. Putter's warm chair and slept without a single twitch. And that's the end. Bye-bye. Till next time.